Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid that I got some good news to report to tonight. Yay! Apparently, we have a massive victory royale in this situation. With, it, it's to do with the woke stuff that's going on right now in gaming. But we have some good news, ladies and gentlemen. 90,000. Can you believe it, fellas? But right after the good news, we're gonna get down into the dark stuff. Because apparently, there is also some bad news here. Yeah, guys, there is some bad news. Like this video if you think Woke is bad for video games. Dislike the video if you think Woke is good. Woke is good. All right, let's get into this one. Roll it. I have some good news to report this morning. Okay. Let's start right here. The free Stellar Blade petition started by Mark Kern actually ended up being successful. Holy. Here are the headlines. Stellar Blade PS5 quietly adds uncensored new costumes in controversy aftermath. So... Just a little bit of a recap in case you weren't aware. When Stellar Blade dropped, yeah. they censored two outfits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They said that they didn't. Shift Up tried to claim that it was always the attention to change these and this is their actual vision when clearly that's not the case. Mm, mm. Sony is very likely to have told them to change these two yeah. outfits, which really does just never made much sense because there are outfits in the game that really are a little bit more revealing than these two but they were changed and, and you to understand this situation right like sony did allow and, and this meme is so wild right because sony did allow abby zilla brock lesnar looking dude right for uh getting his cheeks clapped in 4k with ray tracing i'm not even like joking yeah. like it happened in 4k <laughs> with ray tracing but they say uh, brother you like in terms of like stellar blade right they were like brother you brother you we don't want that and, and uh, a lot of people also are seeing the uglification that's happening in video games in terms of female characters Characters. The fe it's a massive disrespect to gamers and the female ca the females, the real females in the real world, right? So a lot of people are like, yo, what the hell is going on? So Stellar Blade was getting uh, revealed at the game during its marketing phase. They were saying that, fir first of all, they said that we're not going to censor the game, right? And a lot of people were like, yeah, F yeah, right? F yeah, hell yeah, right? Finally, we're going to have a game that's going to be non-woke without any agendas. We're finally going to get like a real game right now, right? But apparently the game came out and it was censored shock 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 and surprise 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 it was censored a lot of people got hella mad after this one rightfully so and it's not just because like you, you know like that the the, the 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 stuff got censored in terms of like the outfits got can censor and we were not able to see the booba because some people were like oh yeah man y'all suckers just want to see the booba y'all suckers just nah bro like it wasn't even about like seeing the booba or no no booba as like of course like generally speaking if you're a man your attention is gonna get drawn drawn to certain areas it happens it is natural okay it happens but no 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 it wasn't really about that people got upset because the game first of all and i got a video clip that i want to share with you guys we're gonna get down to the bad news right after right after this one so stick around for that one guys but uh, the the reason people were upset was not because of like the two outfits getting nerfed or you know censored in this game people were just literally upset because they said the game is not going to be censored the game Secondly, the game was rated M for mature. And third of all, when you're seeing every game having like uglification happening with like female characters, uh, you know, shoving agendas down your throat, you gotta be this, you gotta be that. Uh, especially recently, just now, we have the Assassin's Creed situation, right? So, like, just wanted like a male protagonist for the for the for for Japan, a Japanese male protagonist. Like these suckers love diversity. We also love diversity, but of course, people hate the forced diversity. So. Uh, and they also had like a female uh, Japanese uh, char uh, character as well, but apparently like her jawline is so strong that she can beat up like Brock Lesnar and win apparently. So yeah. that that is something that people are saying as well. So when you got like a whole lot of that and on top, like Ubisoft just confirmed that the characters are LGT, yeah. So that that also, oh, so that that's also another thing. So people are like, hey, bro, like, when does it stop? Can I? And, and we're talking about that Assassin's Creed game that is set in feudal Japan, bruh. In feudal Japan, can you believe it? Can you believe it? So that's a massive disrespect to the black community because they use a black uh, 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 male protagonist, right? Yasuke, he did exist in real life, and people are saying, yeah, sure, like you can have him in the game, but also have like a real Japanese male protagonist 
feminist as well. You can have Yasuke, nobody got a problem with it, but when Yasuke is the only male protagonist in a feudal Japan setting, and you make him LGTV after that, especially like in a setting where, it, you, you know what I mean, like it's feudal Japan dog. If it was a futuristic game or something like that, then it would be totally, people would be like having a different conversation altogether. It would be a different conversation, right? But yeah, so they confirmed that, of course, a lot of people are upset. And now, uh, apparently, we got some good news about this and the bad news in this one, which we're gonna get into in just a second, you're gonna see what happened right after this game went uncensored. Yep, wait for that one, roll it. And it didn't sit over very well with people because one of the appeals for this game, and this is what people don't get, it's, it's more of the principle, because one of the appeals with this game was that, oh, in the day and age of censorship and Abby's on Last of Us 2, we're giving you a beautiful <laughs> female character with a very yeah, yeah, sexy yeah. physique. And they ran with that. And then they censored two outfits and really didn't say much about it. And, of course, people found out about it. And it put a bad taste in people's mouths. Well, they have now walked that back and put the original suits in the game. Yeah, doubly. So <laughs> I think a lot of that had to do with this petition yeah, hitting yeah. 90,000 subscribers. Holy. That's crazy. And it worked. It was effective. And I got to say congratulations to Grums who kicked this off and to you, the people who signed it. I think that your voices have been heard. Yeah, and of course, yeah, there's yeah. there's salt flowing from this and we'll uh, get to that. Uh, 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 here are the uh, details. So it's from Niche Gamer, Stellar Blade Returns Uncensored Outfits Following Fan Campaign. Mm. And here's what you have to do. So you get the game, you have to go to the dealer and craft them, but it's very easy to do from what I've been told. Uh, you'll be able to get them. And the other versions, the censored versions, are in the game. Okay. So you yeah, have okay. That that's fine. That's fine. You you know what? I, I feel like that. Yeah. More more outfits, the better. More content, the better. So you got the censored version and you got the uncensored version. That's a W. Like the video if you agree. Like the video if you agree. Because here's the thing, right? If they never censored the the uh, the, the suits, right? And we still ended up getting those that were quote unquote considered to be censored people would have never labeled them as censored outfits the entire reason people label them as censored is because you know they showed us this and then you couldn't find them in the game and of course this is happening uh this is happening in an era when every other game is getting censored and sure like a lot of the woke journalists were also asking for cancellations and hey cancel this game this game should not be coming out like this right they were also doing a whole lot of that as well so of course people People labeled when they did that people labeled these suits to be censored so now that the fact that they're keeping them in and you also got how they advertise this game that that's pretty good that's pretty good choice but, it's just more choice now but, but this is how it should have been from the beginning yeah, yeah yeah and I'm glad that they that they put them back in there so this is a win and now that they've done this I will play seller blade so I've <laughs> picked it back up as you know I had the game and I yeah. returned it to Amazon because I hadn't opened it yet and some people will say, well, that's stupid because it's just these two outfits. But it's it's more of the point. It's the point that they ran with this game being uncensored. They made a big deal about it, said mm. the game would be uncensored in every region. Yeah. And then they censored outfits and then walked it back. Yeah, that was like their marketing ploy. They were like, yeah, this game is going to be uncensored. You, you, you sick as one, the uncensored game. We're going to give you that. But first, wait, but wait. We're gonna censor the game though. Yeah, that, that's what they, they did, right? That's what they did, and a lot of people had a hell of bad taste in their mouth. And I and I and I wonder if when when they came out and they censored the game, I wonder if that also hurt the sales. Because yeah, we're hearing from him that he basically bought the game, then returned it, and now he's gonna buy the game. Not many people would be like that, where they buy the game and then return it, and then buy a game, right? If you buy the game and you don't agree with the message or you don't like the game or perhaps you finish the game some people finish the game and then they you know sell it or give it to their friends and or or, or yeah sell it or re not necessarily return it some games uh, you cannot necessarily return it when you open and play them uh, if, if you got the physical version you can always uh, like give it to your friends or sell it on Facebook marketplace eBay or what have you right and you can get some some money back which is which is fine uh, like a lot of people do that I have done it in the past not necessarily because a game was bad or anything it's just that 
that, hey, uh, I wanted to buy a different game and I played this and I didn't think I will play that again, game again. And I was like, okay, let me get some change on the side, right? And uh, let me go ahead and, yeah, buy another game with that money that I'll get by exchanging, which is perfectly fine. But how many people would buy a game, return it because of this woke messaging and then rebuy it when they remove that? I don't know man so I feel like that this kind of hurt it a little bit of the sales but in the end the game still sold massively just because of the fact and the drama the drama surrounding this game was insane right because they were like hey man how dare you guys release this game uh, and uh, not wokeify you need to wokeify the game you need to wokeify the game because apparently they are obsessed with everything being woke they want to wokeify everything they want to push this crap down everybody right they and yeah we're like brad y'all is gonna have your woke stuff but come on man like also let us have like the non-woke stuff too for once damn it everything is going woke right now can a brother get like a game that's just simply put good game fun without any politics whatsoever that's what gamers want that's all what we want but these things want to be like pushing all that crap in every game every media every movie every all uh, this that news that no that you know right can we just get a good game now nah, bro according to them we can't and apparently after this victory royale this happened you're not gonna believe it guys clench your butt cheeks stop rolling your fat doobies around roll this ladies and gentlemen our good friend grooms over there on twitter has now been doxxed and we're gonna talk <sighs> about it so let's get into this video guys but of course before we do if you are new here yeah. just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm now ladies and gentlemen nick calandra is that uh uh journalist if you even want to call him that gaming journalist that decided to get completely freaking destroyed and self-own himself so grooms ended up putting out a sting on nick and essentially had someone called giga bear fake himself into nick's discord and pretend as if he had you know spicy information on grums and then what ended up happening was nick picked it up without any verification whatsoever not realizing that the purpose the person he was talking to had a name that was an anagram for urinalist and he ended up posting it so proudly getting ready to yeah. ruin grums live not li life i'm sorry not even realizing that it was all made up and it was coming from grums himself so he oh grums did a God. masterful play in exposing these terrible gaming urinalists and what they do but now since he couldn't take the l sitting down he couldn't take the l standing up he's trying to take the l by attacking grums and his family so we got a tweet here from grums it says i just got docs my family has been docs second wind and former eic of escapist nick calandra has weaponized his discord server and is encouraging his thousands of patreon supporters to dox me they did and <clears throat> unlike certain other journalists who don't post receipts i will my addresses Holy were posted among other details about people they assume are me instead of banning the user who did and what who later edited his post to nick's secret to obscure my address but only after it was seen by thousands instead yeah. nick encouraged them to do more and uh to this is hella crazy bro all over video games bro all over video games just because like he wanted the game to be just a good game <laughs> what the actual hell is going on in gaming dog like why y'all sick is so obsessed with wokeifying every game why y'all sick is so obsessed with gamers demanding a good game without any politics right because that's what we just want we just want good games bro. you know back in the days brad like not even back in the days like five ten years ago we were getting good games without any of this crap dog you feel what i'm saying <laughs> what are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about? Sick is creating problems out of thin air. Thin air. Sick is creating problems out of nothing. I guess sick is gonna be sick, is, man. But, 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 like, now we're finding out that, yeah, Grum simply wanted this game to be free. And Stellar Blade is now free. But apparently now we gotta free the homies, uh, Grums, because uh, they be doxing the homie, they be threatening the homie, they be- And yeah, uh, we, we covered this news not long ago, where uh, th th these suckers were also putting bounties, like, they were playing GTA Online, they put bounties, like, uh, one guy said that 20, 20 Gs, 30 grand, I believe it went up to, like, 50 grand, like, people were saying that if you delete Grums in real life, you get 50 grand. Oh, shit! No, no, I'm not making that up. That literally happened. And they also apparently putting bounties on Asmund Gold as well, right? Like, yeah, like, bruh, like, I mean, bruh. Yeah. So that happened too, but wait, wait, there, but wait, there is more. 
to avoid further TOS violations, he asked that the information be sent to him in secret to avoid Discord's disciplinary action. These users go unpunished by his moderation team. Instead, they are praised. Nick has been stalking me and tweeting about me for almost two months nonstop and is so hot to get me that he was fooled by one of my supporters into publishing a story on X from a user whose name was a sting and an anagram for urinalist and he fell for it. This is disgusting behavior and a dangerous one. They have been multiple documented threats on my life including cash bounties Man. and nick is happy to enable these violent people and arm them with the information that could lead to violence did he say the n-word nick is happy oh, okay okay yo it did sound like the n-word right there right i was a little bit suspect right there yeah we're my where my homeboys at? Where my black homies at though? You heard that, right? You heard that, right? Against myself. Yeah, don't rewind the video. Don't rewind the video. My wife and my children. Anyone who joins Nick's Patreon has access to this Discord server that is focused on doing me harm. There are 13,700 plus members who have participated in this docs or Crazy. been exposed to it. I'm Holy. calling on Discord, YouTube, Patreon, and X to permanently ban Nick Calandra and his weaponized Patreon and Discord server as well as the users who have engaged in his violation of TOS. This has to stop there Crazy. are thousands of users in his discord who now have my personal information yeah imagine yeah thirteen thousand people right holy crap and your address is out there and your information is out there that's just truly insane bro that is truly insane like that's crazy that 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 is crazy like you can it's perfectly fine to agree and disagree though right you know what i mean right attack ideas not people that's the, the that's where i'm at and this is basically what we have been doing and if you're somebody that's like super woke right now and you're like i disagree i disagree with this game needs to be woke game needs to be woke we need to inject this and that we're like yeah you can have your opinion but like dog i'm not gonna agree with you like yeah like i think we should not be pushing politics and games in everybody's throats let people enjoy games because in real life there is enough bull squash why do we need bull squash in games? Like, suckers just want to play the game to escape, right? A and we are all cool with diversity. I think diversity is good, but force DEI and force diversity is the problem because it doesn't help anybody. Because when you force it down people throat, people just start to hate it. That's exactly what we're, we're seeing right now, and it divides people. These suckers say that, hey, we don't want to divide people, but it does that. It divides people. It really does divide people. A and it... it, it makes people hate each other uh, more so yeah and, and now these things are putting bounties on nick uh not nick i mean uh grums and these things are also uh, leaking his address doxing uh literally yeah and, and nothing's get, been, getting done if that was Grum's doxing, you already know he would have been thrown in another dimension by now, bro. They are trying to dox members of my own community. Nick published GigaBear's Patreon email as well. He calls me a grifter, but earns over $54,000 a month <clears throat> attacking me and enabling violence against me by egging on his community. My thanks. Uh, can I, can a brother get like two pennies or something like that? Uh, can I, okay, yeah, can I, can I get it? Like, hey, yo, like what? 54, jeez, God, hey. And you actually doing that, bruh? You actually doing that? So one of my supporters, GigaBear, who reported this to me after going undercover in Nick's own Discord server. Now, this is a very long tweet, ladies and gentlemen, with a lot of information to unpack, yeah. okay? So number one, obviously, let's look through the pictures. You're going to see posts here from people talking in the Discord. And obviously, you see Nick Calandra's name here where the address got posted. And then eventually, it got edited. And it says Nick's yeah. secret in parentheses. That is fucking cringe behavior. If you're going to dock someone and then edit it after the fact, all you're doing is showcasing your guilt. And then hmm. he's going to end up sending this information. Yeah, this is worse than editing your your comment on YouTube. Seconds, uh, seconds be like, yeah, they would be, but actually, and then two seconds later, edited, edited, edited. Now, if you made a genuine mistake in the comment, I'm not talking about like genuine mistakes, right? Because some, yeah, I do that all the times. So, like I would write like a bumbleclad if I miss like a A or something like that, then I would like add it real quick, like bumbleclad. Bumble yeah, so if I accidentally uh make a mistake not accidentally but like i i try to write fast and i make a lot of mistakes sometimes like you know my my cat my non-existent cat would step on the keyboard and write all kind of bull squash and then i have to change the the comment you, you, you feel what i'm saying like yeah exactly so that when that happens i'm like yeah i gotta edit the comment real quick no 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 not talking about that that happens mistakes get made naturally it happens to everybody but like holy crap like in this situation it's like yeah, bro, like, leaks the address, people see it, and then you change it, you edit it, and type, Nick's secret, Nick's secret. Yeah, absolutely. That, that, according to, 
Damn, and according to Discord, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, no ban. No ban. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Go King, I guess. Directly to Nick in a DM. Now, DMs may not be against Discord's terms of service, but at the end of the day, if someone's advocating for personal or public information about somebody like Grums to be given to him in private DMs that he's going to use as he see fit, this is obviously bad faith. This is bad intentions. This is someone who is not well in the head. This is yeah. a gaming ga uh, Gamergate version of TDS. <laughs> That's what this is. This person has oh, Grum's yeah. TDS, and it's quite sad to see. Nick it is, it is. But the good news here is that Stellar Blade is free, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Check out this video on the screen. This exactly what happened with Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I was talking about in this video, right? DEI Plus, now they have changed both of these characters. Check out this video on the screen. And on the left, we apparently got the next Black Ops 6. We got the first look at Black Ops 6 as well. Check out both of these videos, and I'll see you right there.